Happy New Year! How you doing? Hope you had a good holiday. I know I did. It was crazy. Crazy busy as is all my life. I just don't know how to stop. Don't know how to stop. But you know, if I do stop for longer than like a couple of days, I get bored. So I guess it's a good thing. Hi. I've missed you guys. I hope you had a lovely holiday with Christmas and Hanukkah and all the other ones that are in there and New Year's. Uh, New Year's gave me the plague. That was fun. I was meant to do this a lot earlier and uh, well, kind of got sick and I was coughing up a lot for the past few days. Most of it has passed, which is awesome because I got a lot to do, but I don't know why I'm talking like this. I wanted to do a quick look back on 2012 because 2012 was just such an amazing year for me. I want to give it a little bit of homage now that we're on to 2013. Um, it also kind of gives me perspective as what's going to happen in 2013. So what are some of the things that happened in 2012 that were freaking amazing? Number one is I moved closer to my goal of becoming debt free. Now how did I do that? Well I made a couple of sacrifices. I used to have an apartment of my own and it was just me and I loved it but it was a lot of money for just me and I had an opportunity to move in with a family and not have to pay rent so I did and it enabled me to pay off a lot of my debt this year. I still have a good chunk to go but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Number two that kind of goes in with that is I bought a new car so that's kind of the only debt that I have left to pay off. I, I bought a brand new car which was amazing and allowed me to do so many awesome things this year. I got to travel to so many new places um, and meet so many new people and being able to buy this car was a huge part of that and it really is almost like it was custom designed for me. I really love this car a lot. I became athletic this year a little bit somehow. Okay, I don't really consider myself athletic. I just, I've, I've stuck with something though that I really enjoy. I started up cardio kickboxing this year, which I love. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would love an exercise class. I'm a new. I like the to stop things like that. In combination with the kickboxing, I also joined Weight Watchers this year because I wanted to lose as close to 30 pounds before I turned 30 uh, as possible. And that goes into 2013 a little bit, so we'll rewind. 2012 was this year of discovery of new things that I, I'd love to do. I didn't know I liked to travel. I got to travel all over the country this year for different reasons. I got to go to uh, where the heck have I been this year? I went to Florida, Colorado, Chicago, the Virgin Islands, Long Island, Richmond, Virginia, Boston, DC, Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, and Baltimore. I've been to all these places, 10 different places that I have, I've been to a couple of them before, but most of them I had never been before. It was such an adventurous year. I tried so many new things and got to meet so many new people. I think one of my favorite experiences this year was uh, going down to Connecticut with Gina and meeting YouTubers and going to the Olympics of Awesome Tour and just having an awesome random time. What's better than that, right? And I hope to do more of that because one of my favorite things that I did this year was I started my YouTube channel. I can't believe where it has gone. It has gone from being this weird tutorial thing for my business to an outlet for me just being crazy and fun. And I didn't realize how badly I needed to be able to talk to you guys and just kind of create silly content and let go. You get so engulfed in one thing sometimes that you don't realize that there are other things out there that can just pour joy into your life. So creating this channel and you guys have really been that joy for me and I really appreciate you all supporting this channel and subscribing and all that fun stuff. So without me getting too sappy, that was 2012 and 2012 was a pretty amazing year. But now that that's over, I can look forward to what is to come in 2013. And I know people talk about like making New Year's resolutions. I don't make New Year's resolutions. Um, for me, resolution doesn't hold enough weight. Uh, people tend to be like, oh yeah, I resolve to lose weight, or I resolve to stop this, or I resolve to start that. And you might attempt it, 
but it never really follows through. So for me, what I've done for the past three or four years is I've made New Year's goals. It gives me time to sit down and reflect over what I did the past year, what worked, what didn't, um, and come up with a new game plan to actually achieve the goals that I had set for myself prior and didn't get to, or to make some new ones if I did achieve them. I'm turning 30 this year, the big 3-0, and as terrifying as it sounds, I'm actually really looking forward to it because I feel like it will give me a momentum to carry out some of these goals before this big milestone. So my first big focus of 2013 is finishing my weight loss goal. I would like to lose the last 10 to 15 pounds to lose 30 before I turn 30. I have a couple of months to do that so I'm excited and then in celebration I'm hopefully gonna be doing something fantastical and uh, you guys might be part of that. huh? That every year I always want to revamp my business, find better systems, find ways to create a better quality of life for me. Um, I kind of dropped off the face of the earth from September through November and it was a very insane and stressful time for me. So this next year, I'm gonna put some stuff in place to give me more time to help create. I'm gonna ask for more help. I'm going to create ways to get things done more efficiently so I can actually spend time doing other things that I really enjoy, like YouTube. In general, every year I set a goal to just get better. I don't ever want to stay stagnant in where I am. I never want to feel completely satisfied with who I am as a person, where my skill level is in my craft, um, and just in general I want to learn to love people more and do things better. And I think that should be everybody's goal all the time. It really promotes constant education. It also promotes self-reflection. It forces us to take a deeper look at who we are and how we're flawed and what we can do to change that. I'm a firm believer that we need to do that all the time. Just being self-aware is one of the ways that we can activate change. And how else do we improve upon anything unless we change? No one's perfect, no one's ever going to be perfect, but we can strive to be better. And that's always kind of in the back of my brain. There are some awesome things I am looking so forward to in 2013. Number one is just around the corner. I'm going to be going to Connecticut on Monday where I get to hang out with some of my favorite photographers in the world. We get together every year at Mystic Seminars and we just have a great time of education and hanging out and just being silly photographers. In March, Ugh, I'm even more excited for this. I'm actually going to a YouTube conference. Gina and I are going to be at Playlist Live down in Orlando, Florida, which is the second to last weekend in March, I believe. I think it's the 22nd through the 24th or something like that. So I hope we can see you there. I hope you guys are going. And please say hi to us if you see us there. Um, we're just going to have a good time. We have no expectations. And sometimes that is when you have the most fun. And don't worry, there'll be lots of coverage of all of these things. And especially this next one, there'll be a ton of coverage on because it's a very bittersweet event. I'm actually moving to North Carolina. So it will be a relief to get out of the mountains upon mountains of snow, um, but it will be a really hard adjustment because I'm leaving all of my family and my friends. Uh, so this right here is going to be a huge way of me communicating with everybody and just kind of staying in contact with everybody. So there will be a lot more vlogging in the future. Uh, so you better get used to it. So that's kind of a look on the past and what's coming in the future. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. It has been such a crazy ride in 2012 and I'm really excited to see what 2013 has in store. There's been some requests made, there's been some awesome content ideas that Gina and I have been talking about, and just general craziness that I'm sure will come up, and some trips, and yada yada yada. So, I'm looking forward to 2013, I hope you are too. Leave in the comments below what you're looking forward to the most in 2013, or what your goals are for 2013, so we can help support each other and make sure we achieve them. So, alright guys, I'm gonna kick boxes out. Sing like a bee. Guy wearing leg warmers with my boots. Can you can you see them? I don't know. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can, 